guys, this is Dinosasha here, and once again, welcome to the prehistoric and modern animal shells. We have successful update that was one figure has been edited from now. Today, we're gonna take a look at someone that was only one figure, and that is the TNG. And without further ado, let's just begin with the video. So, first off, we have the light blue shelf where the dinosaurs and xenosaur creatures here, and one of which is the Schleich Aloe, which is I really putting a photo in the Munford National Park when I saw a tortoise, a living one, and a lizard when I saw it would run to the into the hiding in the rocks. So yeah, that's a really cool one. Especially the Comsignavis because it's a pudding gate editing on the dinosaur. So really good figure and not bad. Especially I made Life of the Woolly Mammoth. It has been successfully put it in in a very good time. Yeah, that's a really good appointment for that. And I'm planning for this Life of the Yeti, a new environment, which is a sequel for that in the jungle. Anyway, Let's move on to the next one. Second, we're gonna take a look at the smaller shelf. I'm not planning featured on other dinos we have here, but we're gonna feature it around here for sometimes. Anyway, we're looking at some other miscellaneous and not bad for now, but here's some one of my favorite ones. For now, much better. Now, I was thinking the Schleich Dino Gorgon may be maybe a good pudding. Now, it is a concern how the Dino Gorgon getting a show. Well, there are only three sequels left, like the Rosettes of Nature, Black Predator, and Speed Problems, which is a really good sequels of upcoming. Well, two have been successful. Well, let's take a look at one of the main show, The Life of the Hyena Don, which is a really cool one. And Safari Day Don may be a good pudding. Now, I was thinking Anzu will make it a chance to appear, but yeah, it's just a miscellaneous. So let's move on to the next one. Speaking of which, we have Green Shelf, and sometimes I believe I can do with other creatures I thought it'd be, but this is going to be a very cool additioning. We have Tucky Tamara Neanderthal, but which means I have to do with the uh, five requests when suddenly Alan Ian requests me for Life of the Neanderthal, Orangutan, African Elephant, Hippo, and Chimp. So that's really good for me. So on the middle we have Para, a Mastodon, a Giganotosaurus, and other side is a Patasaurus. Now, we're only gonna feature Megalodon if I the most iconic shark. Especially the feather T-Rex. Down there we're gonna take a look at the toy sh basket. So down here it is a toy basket. A lot of tubes, a lot of miscellaneous, and I'm not gonna review them. But I will make it a new review for now. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, we have a new change, which is only one toy on the least. So we have some of those unique ones of all. We have all of sauropods on the top, while the Yeti is going to be on a new sequel, which is New Era, what I'm planning for. And some of the iconic ones, and most dinosaurs have been resumably other Cenozoics, but one of them has to be the Megacerops. TNG Megacerops was actually the PNSO spinoff, I guess. Anyway, let's move down there. And everything's never changed down there. And soon, it's not considerably, but I will have to add it, a new animal on it. So, basically, just the main shelf. Well, a lot of figures have been really upgraded there. Especially the Gallimimus up down there. I've been thinking of better of a good post. So let's move on to the final. And last but not least was the modern day animal shelf. Well, everything seems changeable, but not as changeable for now. We have some really good figures around here, especially up here we have dragons and Donkey Kong characters. I was thinking of adding some Nintendo characters soon. But yeah, it's just my main theory. Now, we have some edible figures, especially one of all the animals has been collected. Were, were all non-introduced ones when there? There are, mostly endangered. But yes, especially the tapir family that resemble the three bears. But it's actually herbivores though. It is, seems good, but Lemon Shark will go to the last review because the shark needs to be last. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications so you'll never miss the video. Leave a comment below. And I hope you see you for another update, and I'll see you for a review about the TNG Mega Seraphs. Goodbye everyone, and see you later.